every easter egg and walkabout mini golf. If you go over to original gothic hard mode, you can go to one of the holes and then go down this cliff and find a hidden dead body. Same goes for the Sweetopia map, where if you go into the candy factory and then fly all the way to the bottom, you can find another dead body. And next up is Upside Town, where you can find a body if you go down this railing and look at the fire escape. And next up is Widow's Walkabout, which actually has three dead bodies. If you go over to hole 13, you can find the first dead body inside a wardrobe, chilling. And the second hidden dead body is over on 17 in the attic. Or if you go back in this corner, you can find the second body. And finally on hole 18, go over to the side and you can find a dead body on the roof covered in webs. Next up we have the Labyrinth map. Or on this map, you have to fly all the way over to the very edge to find a giant dead body of something. Next up we have Temple at Zerzera. Zerzera. Is that how you say that? Anyways, if you go behind the pyramid at Temple of Zazera, you, uh, you can find a dead body crushed by a giant golf ball. And on hard mode, if you go up to the body, you can actually see its ghost. And I'd be pretty upset too if I was visiting a pyramid and somehow got crushed by a giant golf ball. And on the newest course around the world in 80 days, there's a dead body way up in the sky. And he's just chilling with his binoculars and briefcase, enjoying the view. And finally on Laser Lair, if you go down to the lava pit, you can find the last dead body that I know of, hidden in Walkabout Mini Golf. But there's one more thing I haven't talked about yet on Windows Walkabout. That's a book titled Dead Bodies, A Compendium. And the definition of compendium is a collection of things systematically gathered. So a collection of dead bodies, systematically gathered. Huh. Anyways, on the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea map, if you go over to the front of the ship and look through the periscope, you can actually see the hub world. And if you go to the exact spot that you see the hub world from, you can actually see the periscope sticking out of the water. A similar easter egg is on Around the World in 80 Days, where you can look through this telescope, and it shows some random building. Don't bother going to the building, cause there's like nothing here. Although the skybox starts to get messed up once you get this far away from the course. Although there's another telescope on what it's walk about, and if you look through it, you can see a man on the lighthouse. But there's nobody actually at the lighthouse. It only appears in the telescope. Interesting though, if you go on hard mode and look through the telescope, instead of the lighthouse, you just see this creepy at all. Anyways, moving on, if you go back to the 20,000 leagues under the sea map, by the 18th hole you can see the submarine thing, or escape pod. And if you go to the Atlantis course and go down this ravine, you can find that same escape pod, which makes sense because both courses are underwater. But if you go back to the course around the world in 80 days, and go up to the sky directly above the airship, you can find the same escape pod floating in the air from a balloon some, for some reason. Don't question it. Moving on, if you go up to the Upside Town map, you can find this museum holding various objects from different courses. This stone thing is from El Dorado. And over here you have these orange things on a plate from Shangri-La and in Laser. Next up you have the Mixer, which is from Sweetopia. And these origami foxes, which are from the scavenger hunt on Cherry Blossom Hardwood. And then we have this windmill thing, which is from one of the halls on Kiyota Valley. Then there is this mass, also from El Dorado. Cafes from Temple at Zuzaria. And these magic circles that you collect on the scavenger hunt for Arizona Modern. And then there's this ship from Mist, where you have to go inside the constellation room, look at the constellations, flip the quarters, find switches, and the ship emerges out of the water, as well as a large version of it. Anyways, moving on, on El Dorado, if you fly all the way up to this waterfall and go inside, you can find some sunken treasure hidden in the water. Very cool. And on Kiyota Valley, if you go up to the sheep in the distance and look closely, you can see one of the sheep is actually sticking his tongue out. And in the Upside Town Cafe, if you look in this cabinet, there's actually a picture of that sheep sticking his tongue out. Love how much detail they put in this. 
I want that pizza. Give me that pizza. Give it, give it, give it, give it, give it, give it. No, no. Give it, give it, give it. Aww. Give it! Also on Upside Down, if you go into the secret room, you can find some giant bananas. And on hole 15 of Widow's Walkabout, if you look in the safe, you can find more bananas. I'm not sure what the lore is behind the bananas, but moving on. If you go to original gothic card mode, and look at these windows, every once in a while, a silhouette will appear and then disappear. Very strange. Next up, if you go to laser layer hard mode, and then go over to this pool, you can find a random arm inside of the flotation device. Oh hey Larry, how have you been? Cool. And then if you go to Widow's Walkabout, and go back to that room with the book, you can find a second severed arm right here. Also, if you go up to the attic and turn around, you can find another severed arm right here. But there's more, because if you go into the Atlantis course, you can find this random bathtub which is full of a bunch of random stuff, including another severed arm. Very, very strange. That's all for severed arms, but if you go over here on this course, you can find this clam, which is kind of strange, and it has this message. Next up, if you go to a Gardens of Babylon, and fly all the way to the back of the map, you can find this dead tree. Strange detail, as every other plant on the entire course is alive. And on hard mode, there's even a tiny new little candle next to it. Next up is Journey to the Center of the Earth, where if you go into this little carven in the ground, you can find a book titled Journey to the Center of the Earth. And if you thought we're done with hidden dead bodies, you'd be wrong, because there's also a hidden dead body down here that I didn't talk about earlier because I didn't know it existed then. Do you remember that dead body where you can actually see its ghost hovering above it? We can actually use this mechanic to see cat prints going around various parts of the course, like how the prints by this one hole leads to a snack that one of the cats left behind, and another set of prints that leads to a mouse. And there's this other set of prints in the middle of nowhere that leads to this platform. Not sure what that's about. And of course, behind the abacus on the 18th hole, you can find the ghost cat. Anyways, back to Widow's Walkabout. And on the second floor, you can find this painting, which I believe is the dead body from original gothic. Not only are they both dead bodies armor, but they have similar looking castles in the background. Widow's Walkabout also has this painting, which has a ship running right towards an island. Just like how we see in Tourist Trap, where a ship crashed right into an island. I don't think this is a coincidence. Still don't believe me? Because right next to this painting, there is another painting of a smaller ship by an island. And sure enough, on Tourist Trap, you can find that same smaller ship on a second smaller island right next to the original. Widow's Walkabout also has a picture of a chair. And if you think there's no lore significance behind that, you'd be wrong. Because you know what else has a chair? The saloon of Boogie's Blazania. There is no way this is a coincidence. And in the dining hall, you can find this main picture of this guy holding a bell. And not only is that bell on the scavenger hunt, but you go to the lighthouse and by the front door, you can find that same bell. You can also find this painting of a dead fish and... Wait a minute. There was another dead fish in here, in this bowl. And then there was another dead fish that the cat ate. And then by that severed arm in the bathtub, there's also another dead fish here. And then 20,000 Leagues of the Sea has another dead fish here. And even more in here. And a whole basket of them here. And there's more dangling here. And even more here and here. And oh my gosh, there's so many dead fish. And if you fly way into the distance on the map, you can actually find on this mount a vacuum cleaner and two brooms. Kinda random, but... I think we're finally done with Widow's Walkabout, because the next easter egg is on Cherry Blossom. Where if you fly all the way out into the void, you can find an untextured ping pong paddle. As well as an untextured ping pong ball. Kinda random.